Hey guys, today I did a makeup tutorial on how to achieve a dewy, luminous finish. I've told you guys multiple times that dewy finish is my favorite, but I've never actually done a tutorial on it. I hope you guys find this video helpful, and I will talk to you when it's done. Before you do your makeup, you want to always make sure that you're washing your skin and applying a moisturizer, really prepping your skin for makeup application, but especially with looks like this where you're really putting an emphasis on the skin, it's even more essential that you're really washing your skin if you need to do some exfoliation, getting the exfoliation done and prepping your skin with a good moisturizer and then starting with your makeup application. So I've already done all that. I've cleansed my skin, applied moisturizer, so next I'm going to start off with primer. So I'm going to get started with primer. The primer that I'm going to be using today is the Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. This one actually has temperature control technology, so it lowers the temperature of the surface of your skin, so wherever you spray it, in this case my face, um, and it's also silicone free. You guys know that I hate uh, primers with silicone, so I'm really like this one because it doesn't have any silicone in it. So it also has a really ultra fine mist. So I'm going to spray it a little bit closer to my face than I would normally spray a spray. <laughs> so just going to spray this on my face. And then you just want to give it a couple seconds to dry. Now we're going to get started on foundation. I'm going to be using Shu Uemura the light bulb foundation. This is my favorite semi matte foundation. It's really kind of dewy sometimes and sometimes it's semi-matte. It just depends on like what my skin is doing that day, if it's really dry or if it's a little bit more on the oily side. And I'm also going to be mixing in an illuminator. This one's by Kogan Doe. It's their aqua illuminator in the shade Sheer Beige. So what I'm going to do is a pump of foundation on the back of my hand and then a pump of the illuminator. I'm just going to take the back end of a foundation brush and mix the two together. And I'm going to pop this all over my skin. The illuminator is really what's going to give you that beautiful light reflecting quality to your foundation. And it's going to make it look luminous and healthy, glowing, all of that good stuff. And to blend all of my foundation in, I'm going to be using my beauty blender. And I just think that this is the best tool for foundation in general. Um, a lot of times you guys ask me what my favorite foundation brush is, and I always say the beauty blender because I just prefer it over any foundation brush. Now that I've gotten my foundation done, I'm going to quickly do my eye makeup and then we'll finish up with the rest of the face. I'm going to do concealer. Today I'm going to be using the Anastasia concealer and this one is in the shade 2.5. I'm just picking it up on my finger and applying it under my eyes. I could not get my words out. And just a little bit more into the eyes, a little on the chin, and around the nose. This concealer really applies the best when you use it with your fingers. Um, I'm just not really a fan of applying this and blending it in with a brush. I don't think it looks its best. I think you really need some body heat to get the product nice and emollient. Take the Beauty Blender one more time and just soften out all the edges, pick up any extra product. The Beauty Blender is just an amazing tool. <laughs> now we're going to set everything. I'm going to be using Bare Minerals Original. Mine is in the shade W15 and my brush is by It Cosmetics. It is the Wand Ball Powder Brush. It's nice and loose and it's not going to pick up too much product so it's not going to make you look too dry. And I'm only going to set the parts of my face that get oily. So for me, that's the T-zone. And the inner part of my cheeks. I think I say that every single time. <laughs> I want to 
over powder because you don't want to take away from the luminosity of the skin but you want to prevent your makeup from sliding around so just using a tiny bit of powder to keep everything in place is really going to help. I'm going to bronze up my skin. I'm going to be using Casino from NARS. This is my favorite bronzer ever. This is not a matte bronzer. This has a shimmer in it and it's a little bit more luminous of a finish. And I'm going to use the same brush that I was using for powder just because I really like this one. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product and I'm going to start at the back of my face and work my way in. And then I'm going to take it along the hairline as well. When you're bronzing up your skin, it's important that you don't start off in the middle of your face because that's where all the product's going to deposit. So if you pick up all your bronzer on your brush and then you put it right on the center of your cheek, it's going to be really hard to blend it from this way to that way. So always start towards the perimeter of your face and then you can slowly start moving the product in towards the center. And I'm also going to take it on my jawline as well. For blush, I'm going to be using Love Thing from MAC. This is one of my favorite blushes to wear during the summer months and just whenever I have a tan. So whether it's a fake tan or whatever, just whenever my skin is looking a little bit more tan. Because this is one of those soft flush berry tones that really mimics the flush that you get when you've been out in the sun. I just think that these types of blushes look really beautiful when you've got some color to your skin. It is an illuminating blush. It's got a lot of gold shimmer to it and it's really pigmented. So I'm going to pick this up on a Jen Jen Jenny Pattenkin cheek brush. I'm going to tap off the excess. I mean you want the tiniest amount of this product because it's very intensely pigmented. And I'm just going to lightly brush this on the apples of my it's gorgeous and for highlight today I'm going to be using Albatross by NARS it's a beautiful white gold highlight and I'm going to apply it with of course the Real Technique setting brush and I'm kind of applying this in a bigger section than I normally would but if you just use a little bit of Albatross it's not too intense all right, and that's it for highlight. You can add more or less depending on how much of a glow you want. So I did my lips, and I know you guys are going to ask what I'm wearing. So this is a Whirl Lip Pencil Whirl Lip Pencil from MAC, and this is my Bills Be Paid from The Balm. It's a nude lipstick, and I mix the two together. Now I'm going to take the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray, and I'm going to set my face with this. This is just going to help the makeup so that it doesn't settle into your pores throughout the day, settle into the fine lines, and give you that gross, cracked look throughout your makeup. And it's also going to help your makeup last longer. So I'm going to shake this up and then spritz it all over my face. And then to give your skin that last kiss of dew, I'm going to take a couple sprays of Fix Plus. Fix Plus will not make your makeup last longer. This just has glycerin and vitamins in it, so it's like a skin refreshment and it gives you a nice dewy look, but it does not have any properties that are gonna make the makeup last longer. The Scandinavia Setting Spray is what's really gonna keep your face locked and loaded throughout the day. So I'm just gonna take a couple sprays of Fix Plus and this is gonna give you that nice dewy finish. And this is the end result. I really hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions about any of the products or anything that I mentioned throughout the video, please leave them down below and I will get back to you. But also leave some comments down below just so that we can talk to each other, the usual. Also come follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll have those linked down below. As always, I will try to get every product directly linked for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.